Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the week. This reading could resonate now or later, or it could resonate at a different time if you're guided to watch it at a different time. All right, um, it is the Sagittarius Weekly reading. It's for anyone with Sagittarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see it for whatever reason they're guided. All right, let's take a look at the past here because we've got not just the King of Wands, but the Queen of Wands, both reversed. Now, this King and Queen of Wands has been coming out reversed in quite a few readings, causing havoc in one of them the other day. But this King and Queen of Wands looks like something happened in their family or something. Um, and, you know, I feel like just because the King and Queen of Wands reverse came out causing trouble in another reading doesn't mean that they are causing trouble in your reading because I think one of them is possibly you as a Sagittarius. But what I really feel going on is there's something coming full circle. It could be in a partnership or relationship. You might be heading towards a new beginning in your life, but in a, some kind of a relationship, but it does mean... Um, possibly releasing something, releasing a partnership that where there was a lot of drama. So you could be re heading towards a new beginning. Usually with the Eight of Cups, I see this as leaving behind the drama and the emotional stuff from the past, but heading towards a new beginning. So it's actually got a positive note to it as well. And that's what I feel here. Like there's a dawning of a new day. You're seeing it clearly. You realize that whatever this old thing was, wasn't really panning out. King and queen of wands are both reversed. Neither one of you are happy. You're going to divvy up your stuff and you're going to move on with regret, but know that it's the best thing for both of you. That's what I feel. I feel as though there's new opportunities out there that you're missing out on because you've been trying to hold this together and then the news comes in. We just can't really do it. You know, it's disappointing and you tried but you couldn't and this has all been holding you back weighing you down and you need to release and I feel like that's what you're doing you're going to release this so that you can move on with your life there's been you know this wanting to work it out wanting to work together but we just can't seem to do it it's just not panning out strength reversed I feel like this has really been a disappointment and you tried with all your might although you couldn't that's what this whole reading feels like to me Let's get into it and find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Sagittarius. I will say Leo had that same card in the same spot, the Eight of Cups. Maybe that means something to you. Um, but one of you could be a Leo because the strength card's here too as well. That's usually Leo for me, but it could be, you know, your energy as well. Anyway, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Why is the king of staffs here reversed? What do we need to know about it? Sagittarius reading. What's important that we should know about the king of staffs in the reverse? Yeah, look, you put a lot of work in. Put a lot of work in. Eight of pentacles. But you're the wounded warrior. You're beaten. You're battered. or You're bruised. I don't know if you have enough energy to keep working on something that just isn't panning out. All right, and it does have to do with a partnership right there at the bottom. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What do we need to know? Eight of Cups. This doesn't have to be love, but it does feel like it could have a romantic tone to it, but it could be a work partnership. It could be a business partnership. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What do we need to know about it? Eight of Cups. Sagittarius reading. Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You have waited to see your your what you've planted grow and you've waited so long it almost broke your back but you're releasing it you release 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 because there's something new you're missing out on but this has been stressful and it's been heavy heavy energy you felt trapped in this just waiting and waiting and waiting for something to grow out of a relationship a partnership again at the bottom different card um, that just never panned out for you. You've been waiting and waiting and now you're ready to release that energy. Tell me about the page of stabs reversed. What do we need to know? Page of stabs reversed here. Well, that's interesting. You've got the judgment card. And this is not the huge epiphany judgment card. This is like, uh, it's, see the, the eagle of freedom? Like this choice that you're making, it feels like the right thing. You're moving into the unknown but it at least takes you out of where you know nothing's growing okay and this is like a choice it's like a it's it's your um and again you're you're leaving behind a partnership i everywhere i look it's like i'm leaving behind the partnership and look i'm going in an opposite direction of my partner look it's everywhere but i know that it's the right thing to do because you know we tried and it didn't work out 
tell me about the seven of coins reversed here and it doesn't matter whether you're the king of wands or the queen because they're both here right tell me about the seven of coins reversed yeah there's regret right next to it the same card the five of cups you know, but there's something remaining that you haven't seen yet. You haven't looked at that. You know, all this happened and everything spilled. Same thing here. It all spilled, but you're not seeing right there. There's a lot of good that will come. You just needed to release this. This is something that I feel like you've needed to release this a long time, but you tried as the wounded warrior. To, you tried so hard. All right. Tell me, I mean, your progression here is really, um, you're at eight, you're at, uh, nine i'm sorry nine and ten here nine and nine i'm sorry nine eight nine and ten yeah you're at eight nine and ten everywhere um is there a ten i don't know why i thought there was a ten huh was it back here i could have sworn i saw a ten in all this i don't know where i saw it all right oh there it is yeah it's the wheel the wheel of fortune okay yeah and that's the goal right to complete an old cycle and start a new one all right tell me um so there's some regret here uh it's been a long time coming you know you could have tried to hang on to this for a really long time seven weeks seven months seven years i mean this could have been a long time i'm using the seven because it's the seven of pentacles it's my timing card um and i think you got it twice you did you got it twice tell me about the page of coins reverse these are opportunities that you're missing on here that you can't have until you release something else the page of coins why is the page of coins reversed here this has to do with your entire reading page of coins reversed what is it we need to know about it Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Well, so we've got someone walking away, you know, and sometimes this person walks away uh, abruptly or, you know, maybe there's a fight on the way out the door. Could be. But look at how this person fought. You know, if you had people coming at you that, you know, were trying to give you, you know, trouble, you took them down. When I look at this um, Seven of Wands card, which to me, usually, always, the Seven of Wands person wins. Like, all these people come at you and you take them all down one by one. Look at this. Look at, if you look back here, I can see their heads on the ground. So, like, you, um, you took them down. You took them out. <laughs> all right. And you did it with, like, you just crack a lightning. I'm out of here. I'm done. But what this really feels like is... You could have put your foot down. If this did involve kids, you might have put your foot down. You could have been going through a really hard time with the kids and you want to get to a peaceful place and you're just like, I've had it and I'm calling it this out. I'm done with this. Um, you could have done that. You could have spoke up and really brought the hammer down on them. Um, for others of you, I feel like you just are, um, you know, this entire reading is about the center here. You know, there's opportunities you've been missing on being stuck, trapped with the um, the seven of coins here and the eight of swords that you're, you're releasing both of them. It's disappointing, but you're leaving it, even though you had planned on staying to work it out. You, you just don't see it working out. You don't see it working. Tell me about the eight of swords reversed here. What is it we need to know? Eight of swords in the reverse. Wow. Beautiful temperance. So this just shows me that spirits got you back. Archangel Michael shows up to help you detach from something, to leave something behind, to release you from something, to help you get through it. There's something about you needing to get, well, you're the wounded warrior. You certainly have been through enough. This is like some kind of a relationship you needed to let go of. It could have been third party you know um and spirits like look we don't want you in some third party it leaves you sad all the time you put in all this work and it's never going to go anywhere because it's third party and we want you out of it all right and here it is all the third party stuff in reverse here uh well, let's find out tell me about the three of cups reversed here what do we need to know 
that's your card too, Sagittarius. That is spirit saying we want you, Sagittarius, unstuck. We want you unstuck. Tell me about the now. If this wasn't three, third party, like I said, this was a family situation. Tell me about three of cups and the four of staves together. I want to know about these two together in reverse. They feel like the same exact energy to me. Yeah, look at that. Needing to make a decision about a partnership and the juggling or the maybe deciding between two. So if it's not you, it could be someone else who's deciding between two. But the truth is there's a new beginning back there on the horizon for you when you make up your mind that you're not going to stay stuck in this one anymore. So when you decide to detach from the third party or the, the situation that's not in your highest good that you have put yourself in and stayed there, um, and Spirit says, we don't want you there. We want you out of there. We want you to move on. You know, yes, it's regretful, but it didn't work out. You put in all this work and nothing's ever happening on your behalf. We want you to go because what we have for you back there, way back there is the Ace of Cups. But you're going to have to make a decision about this other thing that you've got yourself stuck in that really needs to be gone. So, um, I re but it's going to take strength. Right now, you just, you feel like all this, there's a lot of disappointment in your reading showing that you really wanted this to work out, whatever it is. Tell me about strength reversed here. Strength reversed. What is it we need to know? Sagittarius reading. The Knave of Cups almost came out. That's like the Page of Cups, and it was reversed. Tell me about the strength reversed. Yeah. The Five of Wands, and it's the explosive one. I think you are going to, you're pulling the plug on this. And if it's not you doing it, it's going to be a Leo that does it. A Leo, I feel like it's you though. Leo, Sagittarius energy, both of them. Both cracks of lightning and explosions have fire energy. I feel like you're pulling the plug on something and you're doing it because you know you're missing out on, you're missing out on something. New opportunities, new relationships, a new beginning back there. And all because you've kept yourself in, I feel what is a third party or a situation it like or it's a family situation that is so you know hard to deal with and you know you've tried you put in the work you've did the time and you just can't make it work let me know guys i'd love to hear from you guys i feel if it's not you it's a leo that'll be pulling the plug on this situation sorry guys i really wanted something so much better for you the healing card was sticking out to healing and wisdom look at that i'm going to pull you a couple more Angels, what else do we need to know about this reading for Sagittarius? Just two. You got healing and wisdom, enthusiasm. You got a blank one. It's a blank slate. And when you go off on this journey and go off on your own, make of it what you will. I'm going to pull you another one. But gratitude. Wow. Beautiful. That's a great card. That's my favorite card in this deck besides the... Uh, I like the... The abundance card's really great in this deck, too. It's the best card in the deck. But the gratitude is always my favorite. Um, this is going to help you heal and get into this state of this um, energy of gratitude, which is going to help you draw in something new and beautiful in your life. It, you're going to leave this with more wisdom. You've learned a lot. You've got your blank slate to work with here. And you can make this what you will. Really, you can. You're going on a new journey, but you're doing it you're doing it after a breakup or something. There's something about a breakup happening here. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry it wasn't more positive, but there's a lot of good coming to you after this. This was a long time coming. So those of you that are going to resonate with this, you already tried to make this work, and it was a long time coming. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Good luck with your new journey, guys. Don't forget to like the video. It helps this channel. Don't forget your love readings came out yesterday. Your monthly readings are already out. The big monthly readings. Um, your monthly love readings came out yesterday. They're oracle readings. Um, you also have big, big monthly readings. And you have weekly readings from last week. And the dailies and the weekend reading from this week were crazy good. So if you didn't see them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the weekend of this past week, please go watch them. They say they're for anyone who is guided to see them. Well, I'm guiding you to go see them. They were awesome. Anyway, guys, have a great 
week. I hope this all works out for all of you. I feel like you're going on a new journey into the unknown, being guided by spirit. This is Archangel Gabriel, and then we had Archangel Michael here, which is your card, your temperance card. I don't know where it went, but being guided all the way through by spirit saying, come on, we want you on this new journey. You deserve some new energy. All right. Have a good week, guys. Don't forget to like the videos. It helps the channel, and I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye.